is happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah then we got the trump curse guys proving it's very real it's a real thing that's going around if you mess with you know uh the right and people who support trump that's supposedly a trump curse that will come after we've got this restaurant the red hand um supposedly kicked out sarah sanders um is now closing down following that i guess this is a blow um, or a result of the Trump curse. I'm excited to check out what's going on there. What's happening down at the Red Hand um, with Sarah Sanders and them closing down um, and everything busting into a ball of flames. I'm not sure what's going on, guys. So we're going to hop straight into it, guys. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Before we get into it, hit that like button. It don't cost a thing. Hit that like button for me, y'all. Also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so, guys. We're on the road to the truth. Hop aboard for the journey. Let's get into it, y'all. What's up guys, it's your boy Benny. Whatever goes around comes around. And if you come to the conclusion that it's smart to kick people out of your restaurant because you don't like their politics, well then expect your business to fail. And that is precisely what happened to a little restaurant in Virginia known as the Red Hen. You may recall that the Red Hen decided to pluck and pluck at Sarah Sanders who was just having dinner with her husband on their anniversary inside of this little restaurant in Virginia. A lot of people live in Virginia that work in the White House. Sarah Sanders was one of them. And she was just out for a date with her husband. And the fussy owner of this restaurant decided to huff and puff and clock over to Sarah Sanders and kick her out of her restaurant. Now, these are the same people that try and tell you that they're not fascistic. They're fascists. When you kick someone out of the restaurant because you don't like their politics, you're the fascist, you f***ing idiots. The story behind Sarah Sanders, boot from a VA restaurant. Look at how they, look at how DC Press covers this. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders' dismissal from the Red Hen, a small Lexington, Virginia restaurant, went viral on Saturday morning, spurred on first by Facebook posts by employee and later by Sanders' confirmation on Twitter. The restaurant's owner, Stephanie Wilkinson, granted an interview to the Washington Post, that afternoon, telling her story about why she decided to give the public face of the Trump administration the boot from her establishment. Wilkinson received a call from her staff around 8 p.m. last night that Sanders and her family had entered the restaurant and drove herself to confirm the news. I'm not a huge fan of confrontation. I have a business and I want this business to thrive. I feel like this is a moment for democracy when people have to make uncomfortable actions and decisions and uphold their morals, she says. No, you're just a fascist. Democracy says anyone can sit in my restaurant because these people, she works for the duly elected president of the United States. And I don't care if I disagree with her, that's her right. Like that's my right to disagree. And it's her right to sit here and eat in the restaurant. You, you literally violate someone's civil rights by telling them that you have to leave because of your politics or your skin color or your religion or whatever. After she arrived and confirmed Sanders' identity, she asked the staff, if she should ask Sarah Sanders to leave, they agreed. And Wilkinson requested that Sanders join her on the restaurant's patio, even after the party had already ordered their main courses. Sanders' response was immediate. That's fine. I'll go. Oh, my God. Her family followed her out, but offered to pay for what they had been served. Wilkinson told them that it was on the house. Oh, OK. Got it. So, again, you live in a uh, in a place that voted 62 percent for Trump. So you live in Lexington, a place that is a big time Trump County. And you kick out Donald Trump's press secretary because you yourself are a fascistic jackal and you don't like her politics. What, what sick, what sick bastards these people are. I own the Red Hen restaurant. I asked Sarah Sanders to leave. Resistance isn't futile. And then she goes and gets the boom clap hallelujah chorus from the DC press calling her Sarah Stephanie Wilkinson saying that she's a saying that she's a queen. She's a resistance queen to Sarah Sanders. <laughs> Got it. Got it. And then it, like, again, there is no, there is no shortage of, of simp, simp land, Washington DC journalists writing about this. We had to go pull these articles out from, from 2019, which is when this happened. Resistance, not futile. Red hen owner says booting Sarah Sanders was great for business. It was great. This was amazing. Great for Except business. Except for one little problem here. You see, the amazing thing about living inside of a free country is that people can then freely decide never to go visit your restaurant again. 
if you do something like this. The amazing part about living inside of a country that still, to this very day, says that fascism is evil and that bigotry is evil is that people like you, well, can and will go out of business for doing that. First was Donald Trump's tweet. The Red Hen restaurant should focus more on cleaning its filthy canopies, doors and windows, badly needed paint job, rather than refusing to serve fine people like Sarah Sanders. I always had a rule. If a restaurant is dirty on the outside, it's dirty on the inside, Donald Trump saying about the restaurant. Man. Well, that'll hurt your business. And this will hurt your business. This is what it looked like outside of the Red Hen restaurant in Lexington after Stephanie Wilkinson told Sarah Sanders to leave. You can see here all these people uh, in the streets uh, chanting against the restaurant, right? Everyone's so this is like the Red Hen restaurant, and these are people with signs saying repent <laughs> and Trump flags and everything. Well, you know, it's funny how this all works, ladies and gentlemen, because the Red Hen restaurant is now officially out of business. It took a year or two, but now, well, the Trump curse reigns supreme. Virginia restaurant that kicked out Sarah Huckabee Sanders is going out of business. The Red Hen owner says that they'll try to come back under a new name. But we all know that that won't work. Red Hen to close. New eatery coming. <laughs> they announced that they will seek uh, cease operations at the end of the year and reopen in the same location under a new name with a new dining concept. We've had 15 memorable years. But, uh, you know, we just can't do it anymore because we're fascists. Red Hen became the focus of national attention in the summer of 2018 when Wilkinson asked the President Trump's press secretary, Sarah Sanders, to leave the restaurant, which closed for nearly two weeks. Oh, wow. Hmm. Interesting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it does indeed look like if you F around, you shall find out. Restaurant that kicked out Sarah Huckabee Sanders and her family is closing down for good. Hmm. Well, you know what? I got to tell you, uh, I don't feel bad for these people. Uh, I'm a business owner, and the choices that you make, especially if you make choices that are going to uh, negatively harm your business, whether you're Target or Bud Light, or I don't care. Like, it really just doesn't matter. Like, don't make choices that are going to destroy your business. Bill Burr is finding this out, right? Don't be stupid. Don't spit in the face of half the country. And by the way, Stephanie Welkinson, defending democracy looks like letting anyone from any political persuasion eat in your restaurant because you're open to the public. These people are so unbelievably stupid. Somebody who's not stupid is Sarah Sanders. Sarah Sanders was on our program recently. And, um, well, of course, she's now governor of Arkansas, one of the most popular governors in the country. She has some amazing things to say about her time in Washington, D.C., including, well, some advice to people like cringe Jean Pierre, who took her job. Maybe some people like the owners of the Red Hen. Sarah Sanders, always the cool-headed one, always the person with uh, sound wisdom, like the ring of a bell. Take it away. I think people really love the energy, Sarah. It's, you probably would have plenty of advice for the next governor of Arkansas, whoever that may be. Uh, any advice for someone who's also taken your role? Uh, somebody who we lovingly refer to as cringe, Jean Pierre, on this program. Um, any any words of wisdom for her? You know, it's hard to give a lot uh, of advice there. The difference is I had a really good story to tell. Uh, they don't have a lot of positive things to talk about coming out of that administration. Certainly, I had my own set of challenges, no doubt about that. But things were going really well for our country under President Trump. So I had great things to talk about. She doesn't quite have that going for her. Uh, in addition to a, a number of other challenges, I, I think my best advice would maybe be to uh, look and see what other opportunities may exist out there. <laughs> Yeah, maybe get a boss who can speak English. <laughs> the other thing, I mean, I know, I know, I know we have to, I know we have to let you go. Your team's saying, but like, what happened to the press? What happened? They used to ask you questions. It used to be fifty against one, Sarah. What happened? Something you know, I. I, I don't wish that upon anybody, the type of, uh, you know, intensity and hostility and criticism yeah. from the press corps that I got. But I do wish they would actually ask some real tough and substantive questions. You have a couple people in the room uh, that certainly try, but they are usually drowned out. But I wish that they would hold this administration's feet to the fire and actually ask them some of the really 
difficult questions uh, on how this administration is failing the American people. I'm not holding my breath expecting that to happen. I think it is much more likely that we'll see somebody new behind the podium with a new administration, far more likely than it is for the press to start asking hard questions. So I'm going to count on that instead of the other. Yo, there we have it, guys. Sarah Sanders and the Trump curse. It's very real. As you see, the red hand has actually closed their doors um, and forced to come back under a new name or, you know, try to secretly come back because of the name they have made for themselves. You cannot do that. I mean, I don't understand, especially as a restaurant owner, you should know that like your business is based upon everyone, literally everyone, all walks of life. So you cannot discriminate or judge anyone. You have to literally play it fair. They said the county of Lexington, Virginia, um, the population is 70 or 60 percent um, voting for Trump. So that means you just alienated over half of your potential customers. You know, they're not going to come in. And that's exactly why they closed down, I believe. I'm, I'm a big numbers guy. When I heard that, I was like, oh, they just cut off a big, like a mainstream, a main source of their customers. You cannot do that. Um, by alienated one group or political political party, they just about, you know, suffocated their restaurant. They didn't have enough traffic with the support from the right leaving that restaurant. They had no choice but to shut their doors. The Dems couldn't keep them going and keep flowing cash. I'm surprised the Dems didn't step in and, you know, just completely sponsor them because I know the right turned their back on them after they, they hurt this run. -in. That's just a nasty way to conduct business in general. I don't care if you're, you know, dependent upon these customers or not. You just don't act like that way with people. If they're not harming you, they're not bothering anyone. She said that, you know, they were bothering other customers by, you know, their politics. Because just based off her politics, it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, you guys definitely help in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. I'm excited to see what your guys' thoughts are on sarah sanders and the trump curse definitely let me know your thoughts um i feel like the trump curse is very real but yo let me know in the comment section also make sure you guys smash that like button for me it don't cost a thing hit that like button guys and also hit that subscribe button guys we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey i'll catch you guys on the next one week Go.